you refer very easily to this volcano inside, that the sound coming from inside and then it comes out. How did you learn that? Hmm. Where did you learn that? Just singing, period, you mean? No, that it, it's here. You, you, a couple oh. of times you've referred to it. It's yeah. starting here, and then it comes, and it comes, and it comes, and then out it comes. Um, oh, boy. Was I, that a teacher? No. Do you know what? I never studied voice. Only once while I was still at university, and I decided maybe I was going to try and go into musical theater, uh, there was a teacher there who sings professionally as well, Alvin Reimer. And I went and took a few lessons with him. But he, he taught classical singers only at university at Western. But it was just fun to do some voice lessons. I had no idea what they were. But that's the only time I ever. So I figured it out by myself. But I learned. It's not, it's funny, it's not a volcano. To me, it's a compressor. <laughs> and it's, it's when you know you want to build, first of all, it's all up here. It's, it's a chart, and you have to chart out where that thing's going to go, like you do with a monologue, a big monologue. I mean, what are the peaks and valleys, and where is the climax, and is it soft or way up there, whatever. So it's, it's that, and then you emotionally want to get to that. But physically, for the singing, to gear up to that big build and that big, because it's hard to sing those big high notes in full voice. I think of it not so much as going out as pushing down. Then the compressor has to kick in so that you're not just going, ah! you know? It's right. like, mm! it's like something pushing down here right, right, right. so that it doesn't climb yeah. up here and hurt you. That's what it took me a long time to learn for me. That's so did you I stumble on that or did yeah. you stumble on that? Wow, that's good. <laughs> Other people would describe it well, differently. Well, people go to, people go to upper school. That's people okay. go to singing school. People oh, have singing sure. teachers. I mean, lessons, lessons, lessons. I mean, you lessons. know, maybe I should have gone back to school. I have a degree in music education. I was so a you had major. no singing lessons? No. I know. That's why I lost my voice all the time in the wow. beginning. You have a voice like that. You can sing all that, and you had no singing lessons? I've had a lot of practice. On the job training. On the job training. Same with acting, you know. But a lot of the acting lessons are not to teach you to act, they're to try to expand your toolbox, so to speak. You know, say, Robert, you know, you're just working in, yeah. in this part of the house. You're not looking at that part of the house, that part of the house, whatever. You've got to go over there. I don't know about that part of the house. Well, let's do some exercises to introduce you to these ideas right. about the other part of the house. I mean, that's what the lessons are really about. I mean, I think to me it's always been about watching other people and saying, why does that person really get to me and affect me, and why does that person not? What is the difference over here? What is that person doing? Right. But mostly to me, it's like imagining there's a camera right there. You've got to look at yourself all the time. See yourself. Feel yourself. It's just about being truthful. That's all it ever is, just truthful. Just truth. That's all I want. I don't want just notes. I want you to talk to me. I want you to make me feel something, anything. But I want to feel like it matters and that it's for real. And it's not rocket science and it's not going to change the world. And as soon as the show's over, I don't carry it with me. I'm done. But for that time that I am there singing that song to you, it should be the most important thing in the world. And just so important that I reach you with it, that it comes from a real place with no extra bullshit added on to it for show, you know? And that. And I you learned that by watching other people or an instinct within yourself or? I think it's an instinct, but by watching for sure, by seeing what extra crap right. does and how it takes away from it and it takes my eye to a place it doesn't need to go to and it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. That's my main bitch so much of the time. 